Hey guys, welcome back. On today's video, we're going to solve another question about the uh, moment in 2D and we have the bracket BCD that is hinged at C and attached to a control cable at B. When we need to determine the tension in the cable in the A part and B part, we need to find the reaction at C. So as always, we're going to start with the free body diagram. Here we have two forces, 240 Newton at D and we have another 240 Newton force. And at this point, we have the tension in the cable, which will be T B A analog we have at point C pin, which will be C X and C Y. And since it's a pin, it can rotate freely, so we won't consider any moment at point C. Uh, that's pretty much what we have for the free body diagram. And uh, what we need to do is go with our equilibrium equations. Uh, I'm gonna show the distance uh, in this question. So now we're all good to start with our equations. So if we look at the T, TA, we can resolve this to X component. Let's call it TX and this will be our TY. Uh, what we need to find is the relationship between TX and TY. Uh, so we have all the distances in here. Um, let's call this angle alpha. And if we want to find the tangent of alpha, we'll have opposite, which is TX over ty and also we have the distances for alpha which will be 0.24 and we have 0.18 meter for the adjacent side based on this we can find the relationship between tx and ty so ty equal 18 over 24 tx 3 over 4 tx so from this part uh, we found the relationship between tx and ty now we can start with our moment equation, find the first unknown. If we look at the question, we'll see we have the most unknowns at point C, which is Cx and Cy. Again, counterclockwise is positive. So let's see what we have for the moment. So we'll have the moment of Tx, which is counterclockwise about point C. That would give us Tx and the distance will be 0.18. Uh, the next moment will be the 200 kN force and if we look at the direction of moment we'll see that um, it will be clockwise so we'll have a negative moment so we'll have negative 240 and the distance here will be uh, 0.4 and we have the same thing for the other force and again we'll see that the moment is in a clockwise direction which means it will be negative 240 and the distance will be 0.4 plus 0.4 which is 0.8 that's pretty much all the moments that we have about point c and obviously we are in equilibrium uh, condition so this will be zero and from here the only unknown that we have is tx which will be 240 times 0.4 plus 240 point eight divided by point 18 and this would give us 1640 x so we have found the first unknown and based on the equation that i'm showing with this star we can find ty so ty simply is uh three quarter of tx which is 1600 and from here you can find ty 1200 newton and now that we have the tx and ty component for t we can find the magnitude which is uh, tx squared plus ty squared and if we calculate this we'll get 2000 newton for the magnitude of t so we found the first unknown in this question which was the tension in the cable so the a part is done uh, so we still haven't used our fx and fy equation if we find those we can find the unknowns that we have so let's start with the fx uh, this will be positive direction and if we look at the free body diagram we'll see we have cx in x direction and tx and that's all we have for x direction so we'll have basically cx minus tx equals zero and from here we can find cx which is 1600 and the direction will be to the right 
which means the direction that we can see there for cx is correct and last equation that we have is the fy equation again upward positive and we'll see what we have in y direction we have the cy which was upward ty which is downward and we have 240 downward equals zero and from here we know that the ty is 1200 so cy will be 1200 plus 240 plus 240 which will be 1680 newton and it will be upward now we found the cx and cy and if you want to look at the angle that it's making in that so we found cy here upward and we found our cx 1600 and if we call this angle alpha tangent of alpha will be cy over cx and we can find alpha based on this 46.4 degrees and that's all we need and if we want to find the magnitude we'll simply have cx squared plus cy squared and that would be 2320 newton for c and at the end we can show c uh, like the magnitude uh, newton and the angle will be the alpha that we found in here which was 46.4 degrees and this will be the final answer for b part